Hi, my name is Dan Goldman. I'm a researcher in Adobe's Creative Technologies Lab, and I'm going to show you a new technology for intelligent hole filling that we've been working on with collaborators at Princeton University and University of Washington called PatchMatch. We've showed some of this technology in August at the SIGGRAPH conference, but today we're demoing an implementation inside a tool you'll find more familiar. So first let's take a look at how the spot healing tool worked in uh, Photoshop CS4 in previous versions. You'll see that sometimes it uh, works pretty well at replacing these larger holes, but sometimes it doesn't. It's a little bit hit or miss whether you get a good fit or not for some of these heels. So let's undo these, and now I'm going to turn on our new content-aware spot healing tool. And now when we remove these same animals from nearby this uh, water, you'll see that the background is replaced pretty convincingly, um, including the, the shoreline and uh, some of these uh, bits of grass and, and trees and things. And what this algorithm is actually doing is it's copying multiple patches from the surrounding background to try and fit them inside the hole. Unlike the old spot healing uh, proximity match that was trying to find one match for each of these holes, uh, it's actually trying to find multiple patches to stitch together. And this generally results in uh, a very convincing fill for these holes. Uh, Some place this might be particularly useful is in wire removal. So here I'm going to use the new content aware spot healing to just brush over part of this wire here. And after a few seconds we have a very convincing fill. Let's brush over the rest of this. And again, a pretty good result. It's not perfect, needs a little touch up, but it's good enough for a first pass. Now those of you old enough to remember working with uh, non-digital negatives might remember the problem of uh, hair in the negative and you end up with these white lines. So this is really useful for cleaning up things like this. Again, because there's a pattern there, the algorithm can pick up that pattern and knows to fill it in with similar patterns. So you get really seamless fills for these um, pretty difficult regions. Okay, let's look at one more example. Here's a nice family photo, but uh, we want to remove this signpost. And again, it's filled in with all the right regions. We've got some trees, some uh, grass, and some road. And we'll remove these little posts as well. And this algorithm works not just for small holes, like we might find with spot, spot healing, but also larger regions. So in addition to just having this algorithm work in the uh, spot healing tool, we also have a new version of the fill tool that, again, we're calling content-aware fill. This takes a little bit longer. It's, um, uh, it's got to find more patches, and it's working with a larger region. But once we've done it, we've got a nice fill, and it even filled in the top of the tree there on the left. Here's a nice photo we might have taken on vacation, but we'd rather remember it without this giant power plant in the background. So again, let's just do a really rough selection of that region and content-aware fill. And we've got, after a few seconds, a nice photo to send to the relatives. Hope you've enjoyed this sneak peek of uh, future technologies.